With Ryan Baker from the Lincoln Hornets middle school basketball team just knocked off Wellborn. Ryan, talk about the effort today by the team. Overall, excellent effort, big victory, and also you played well in the game. Uh, sometimes in the game you felt like, hey, what am I doing over here on the bench because I'm in foul trouble, but you fought through the foul trouble, got your points, got the work done. Talk about the team victory here today. Uh, I think we did good today overall. We just fouled a little too much. We need to stay focused on defense a little bit more. But that's really it. I should just relax more on defense, get a little bit too jittery. That's it. Uh, too jittery sometimes, but again, you scored some points in the game, which is good because limited minutes because you had such a good lead. Talk about what you look for when you look for your shot. What makes your shot work when you make those baskets? Um, first of all, when I get the ball, I look to pass it. I don't look to score a lot, so when I see my chance, I score. How important is it to use that backboard on those layups? Because those layups are big, and if you use that backboard, it makes a big difference trying to put that ball through the basket. Yes, sir. It helps a lot for me because I'm not a, I don't play basketball a lot, but when I do, I try my best. And that's one thing that helps me. Do you ever look at that square up on the basket? That square is a pretty good thing to have handy there, too. That orange square kind of gives you something to bank that ball off of. Do you also study the square on the left or right layups? Yes, sir. I always use the square when I try. Talk about, uh, you say uh, football, you love that sport, too. You love basketball. But you're doing so well in basketball. Do you think it may ever come uh, time to make a choice between the two? How would you decide which one you wanted to play in the future if you had to decide between football and basketball? Uh -huh. I would have to think really hard about it, really hard about it, because I love both sports. But when it comes down, my main choice is probably going to be football. I like it and I enjoy it a lot more, and I think I have a greater chance of playing football. Let's give you about the next, say, five years. Your choice will be play both. Keep playing both. I want to see you on that Dudley Panther basketball team one day. Yes, sir. I would try my best to play all sports I can at any time. I bet you 50 bucks. I may be wrong. I don't have 50 with me. If I do, I'll go get it, bring it over and give it to you. You also on the track team? Uh, yes, sir. You have to be because the Bakers are so fast. Yes, sir. R.J. Baker, your brother, track star at Dudley back in the day on that uh, state championship, I think, 4 by 100 track relay team yes, and others too. But uh, here, let me give you some quick names. Let's go down to Baker Roll Call. We're in the Baker household right now. Go to the Baker household. Talk about R.J. Baker, your brother. What did you learn from him? I learned a lot from him. He, people talk bad about him, but... I just see all motivation in him. He always tries his hardest. He always looks to the bigger point. Even when he gets in trouble, he just knows he got to work even harder at that point. Yeah, that's I looked at him always. I called him R.J. Baker, the touchdown maker. He made the touchdowns. He got the job. Done the state championship game that year. He was one of the MVPs in that game, I think, on offense. So he yes, got a heck of a job for Dudley. Talk about Raylan Baker, number 22 for the Dudley Panther Girls basketball. What do you learn from Raylan, your sister? I learned a lot from her, honestly. She's a great playmaker. That's where I get my playmaking skills from. She doesn't try to score a lot. She always try to feed to the hot man. She always gets those very rebounds. Uh, if you can, talk about, I think, uh, your father, Roy Baker, Mr. Baker. I've always been looking up to my dad. He always been a great influence on my life. He always tries to teach me right from wrong, even though when I don't want to listen. He always has a better choice in mind than what I think of. And sometimes I just think maybe he's wrong, but it never happens. He seems to always be right when you look it over at the end, right? Yes, sir. End of the day, Roy Baker, father, always right. I think he is, is he still with us or no longer with us? I'm going to just give you a name because this is a family household legacy of the Baker family. Horace Baker, your grandfather. He is still with us, honestly. His birthday, we just celebrated his birthday yesterday. Happy birthday to Horace Baker. And talk about your grandfather's teaching you. Uh, he, I didn't spend a lot of time with him, but he always been a great influence on my life. Like, uh, when my older sisters tell me, he always loves to go out and eat, especially ice cream. He loves some good ice cream. It's a good family get-together, and they get together for ice cream, correct? Yes, sir. I would mention quickly, Rhonda Baker, your aunt. I guess Rhonda's still out there kicking things up a little bit. So you probably learned your uh, feistiness and intensity for Rhonda Baker. She's yes, pretty sir. scrappy. Yes, sir. What about Coach Hank Buller, Coach Buller of this team? What does Coach Buller teach all the Lincoln Hornets as he sends you guys out to the court every game? Uh, he always thinks, he always say, try your best. And that's all he looks for. He don't think we that good. And so we going to drop 20 a night. But he always say, try your best and do what's, do what's best for the team. Get better, get better, get better, right? Yes, sir. And uh, how about Coach Thomas, Cameron Thomas? What's Coach Thomas to you guys? He's trying to look at it from a post position, made a little bit taller guy than Coach Buller, but they both uh, work well together. What's Coach Thomas to you guys? He loves defense. That's what you like. Yeah, yeah that's a big part of our game. We focus a lot on defense because 
majority of our team can score, but it all comes down to our defense. I told uh, Sam Kiefer about that defense because back in the day, Nolan Richardson, Arkansas Razorbacks, many years ago had that uh, 40 minutes of Hades. You guys got that 24 minutes of Hades. You got to keep that pressure up all the time. That's what wins these games. That third quarter, again, we just got to keep talking about that. No points allowed in the third quarter. They only got one point early in that fourth quarter. You might have held them scoreless in the second half. That defense is out. Even the reserves, your guys' reserves play well, too, don't they? Yes, sir. When we went to the locker room for halftime, my coach sat down and told us, y'all just fouling too much. Y'all playing too hard on defense. You just reaching too much. So he said, sit down and play better defense. And that's what we tried to do. Ryan Baker, I'll see your aunt maybe tomorrow at Cookout on Battleground. Talk to her about once a week about Ryan and Raylan and all the Baker kids. Keep up the good work. The Baker family doing well. And the Lincoln Hornets, 8-0 unbeaten. Keep working hard. Yes, sir. Thank you.